Hey guys, welcome back to The Explanation Pro. In this video, I am gonna talk about the 2014 thriller drama film, Who Am I? As usual, there will be spoilers ahead, so take them with a grain of salt and let's get started. A guy enters the scene to find three dead bodies. He sees a bullet cover and picks it up. He questions himself who he is and gives the answer telling that he is Benjamin. He is one of the most wanted criminals in Berlin. He is a hacker. In the society where we live, cybercrimes have become very frequent. So, it is very important for us to protect ourselves and our data. We can do this by using VPN. This video is brought to you by Atlas VPN. It is developed by top cybersecurity specialists in 2019. It has over 6 million users worldwide. It is the best VPN available in the market at a very reasonable price. This is more than just a VPN. It protects your device from ads and malware. And the best part is that one subscription can protect all your devices. Along with that, you can also enjoy your favorite shows at high speed. You can also get the best deals while shopping online and on subscriptions like Netflix. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to get an Atlas VPN subscription for 3 years at just $1.99 per month. It is a limited offer, so grab it before it's gone. Now, let us continue with our story. Benjamin goes into a cyber division's office. He meets Detective Hannah. He wishes to speak to her but he does not know where to start. He starts by saying that we live in a world where there is no beginning and no end. The story trails into a flashback. Benjamin says that he always wanted to become a superhero. He wanted to do something different that no one else did. Just like Batman, Superman, and many others, his parents are dead too. His father abandoned him and moved to France. His mother killed herself when he was eight. His grandmother took care of him after his mother's death. His grandmother's father died during World War II. He never came back but three bullet covers were sent in his memory. Anna says that she is no psychologist. She asks him to tell her about Mr. X and the hacking group called the Friends Group with four members in it. Mr. X is the biggest hacker in the dark world. Nobody knows anything about him. That is just how it is in the dark world. Everybody has work to do but their personal information is not disclosed. Benjamin tells Hannah to listen to him carefully if she wants to catch Mr. X. He continues the story by telling that he started using the computer when he was just 14. He learns to program and hacks his first system. Then he gets to know the depths of the internet. He understands that he is good at this and spends hours on his computer knowing more about the dark world. He gets to know many hackers but his role model was Mr. X. Mr. X has three principles for hacking. Number 1. No system is safe. Number 2. Always aim for the impossible. Number 3. Have fun in cyberspace. Benjamin is also working as a pizza delivery oi to earn some money. One day he goes to a college to deliver pizzas. There, he sees Mary. His childhood crush. He likes her very much. He observes that she did not prepare for her exam. He thinks of doing something nice and becoming her superhero. He goes into the building and hacks their systems to get the question papers. Meanwhile, the security guard catches him. He did not have any criminal record before this so he was just supposed to do a few hours of community service and he was fine. He is supposed to clean the city as a part of his punishment. There, he meets a man called Max. He asks Benjamin about the reason why he is given this punishment. He tells him about what happened with the university. Then, Max invites him to a party at his place. Benjamin goes to the party. There he sees Mary. She and her friends recognize him as the pizza delivery boy. Max introduces Benjamin to a few other people who are hackers too. They are, Stefan and Bob. They ask Benjamin to prove his skills and worth. He gets on the computer and hacks all the street lights. He turns them off. Meanwhile, the police come to the house as the party is causing disturbance to the neighbors. Everyone runs out of the party. Mary meets Benjamin and recognizes him. He remembers that they studied together for a period of time. All four of them go to a seminar where there was supposed to be a presentation on Hitler. Benjamin hacks the systems and changes the presentation. He makes it inappropriate and everyone gets nervous and angry. The security sees that these men are doing this from a truck behind the seminar hall. They try to chase them but they fail. Hannah asks Benjamin why she should believe him with all this information. He says that he hacked their systems before coming here and shares some personal details. The story continues. They set up a base at Benjamin's grandmother's house. They call themselves by the name Clay which stands for clowns laughing at you. They start hacking in the dark world. They keep doing the work so much that people start recognizing them. Even the news channels recognize them. 
They became famous. They tried to get the attention of Mr. X. But when people ask Mr. X about the clay group, he says that he does not know them. Everyone gets disappointed but Max gets angry and frustrated too. But they do not lose hope and continue to hack. One day, they get a message from Mr. X. He says that the clay is a small group and they do not know much about hacking. They are just doing small hackings which are very easy. He says that they are not capable. The clay gets frustrated. They are angry and want to show that they are not just another random kids hacking group. They want to prove themselves. They decide that they must do something big and prove Mr. X wrong. They want to hack German Central Intelligence. Many people tried to hack the German Central Intelligence but none of them were successful. All four of them agree that it is their next target. They go to the dumpster where the Central Intelligence gets rid of their trash. They go through the trash and get a few emails. They send phishing messages to the mains and get the security code. They go to the building that night to hack into their servers. Benjamin successfully gets into the servers of the German Central Intelligence. They get all the data and hack the printers too. They send the same message everywhere. It says that Clay was there and that no system is safe. As their mission is successful, all four of them go to a party to celebrate. There, he sees that Max is kissing Mary, the girl Benjamin likes. He gets very angry and goes home. He impulsively sent all the information they retrieved from the German Central Intelligence to Mr. X. The next day all four of them meet. Benjamin and Max start fighting over Mary. Then, one of the others turns on the television. The news channel reporter is talking about the incident that happened at the German Central Intelligence. Soon they understand that there was a secret agent in the friend group who used to report back to the German Central Intelligence. The information Benjamin shared with Mr. X contained the information about this mole. He soon realizes and kills the agent. They leave the body as it is and it looks like Clay is responsible for the murder. The other group members did not know that Benjamin sent that information to Mr. X until now. They get angry with Benjamin. They only decided to hack the printers but now they are stuck with a crime that they did not commit. Benjamin defends himself by saying that he did it so that they could get recognition, especially from Mr. X. He did not expect things would take a bad turn like this. Then, Benjamin suggests that they find an alternative plan O find the true identity of Mr. X and reveal it to the police. That is the only way they could get themselves out of this mess. They try to contact Mr. X for that, they had to use a public server. Mr. X sold the information they retrieved to the Russians. Therefore, the friends group and Clay are considered terrorists now. They get in contact with Mr. X and tell that they want to join the friends group. Mr. X tells that he has a job offer for them. But they will be joined only if they can install a Trojan into the Europol systems. Benjamin goes into the Europol. He tries to install the Trojan but is interrupted by the security. He manages to escape from there. But during the escape Max gets himself hurt. Fortunately, they find a visiting pass lying on the ground. Benjamin takes it and tries to enter by telling him he forgot his wallet inside. The security guard lets him in. He goes in and installs the Trojan. He meets Mr. X and gives him the Trojan. He secretly installs another Trojan that tracks the location of Mr. X when he uses the original Trojan. But Mr. X suspects something is wrong and he breaks open the Trojan to find another one. He gets angry that Benjamin betrayed him. He uses webcam data to take a screenshot of Benjamin's face and sends it out on the internet telling him he is a clay member. He reveals Benjamin's identity to the world. Meanwhile, the Russian people come to their base. These are the same people who brought the information that Benjamin stole from the German Central Intelligence from Mr. X. The Russian Mafia tries to kill Benjamin but Benjamin runs from that place and escapes. Benjamin goes to the hotel where his friends were waiting for him. When he enters, he sees that all three of his friends are lying dead. This is the scene where the movie started. He sees all this and questions himself about who he was. Then, the story returns to the present. He says Hannah that he wants to bring Mr. X into the light. He killed all his friends and now he is onto him. Hannah asks him how he plans on doing that. He says that he knows all of Mr. X's weaknesses. He says that he will be able to help the government find this hacker. In return, he asks Hannah to keep in on witness protection. Hannah agrees. Benjamin lies about his identity that he is Mr. X. He says that he is working for the government and gave all the hackers data to the government. The real Mr. X did not understand what is happening or who is doing this. Benjamin dresses up as Mr. X and goes to their den. 
the real Mr. X is locked outside SND he is getting frustrated. He somehow manages to get inside and tries to unmask Benjamin but he could not. Then, Benjamin removes his mask and reveals his identity. Benjamin also says that he knows who the real Mr. X is and he says that he already revealed that information to the FBI. Mr. X is a 19-year-old American. The FBI comes and finally arrests Mr. X. Hannah comes to Benjamin and says that he is finally free to go. The government is going to give him a new identity, money, and a place to live and start a fresh life. While leaving, Hannah sees that Benjamin's hand has the same injury that Max was supposed to have. He thinks something is wrong and continues to investigate. She goes to the hotel but does not find any dead bodies. She visits Mary and Mary says that she does not know anything and that Benjamin was just her schoolmate. She goes to the doctor who was taking care of Benjamin's mother. The doctor says that Benjamin's mother had a disease called multiple personality disorder and she committed suicide as she was going crazy. He confirms that Benjamin is suffering from the same. Hannah comes back to Benjamin and tells him what she discovered. He denies it and gets anxious. Hannah says to Benjamin that the government cannot provide him witness protection as he is not mentally fit for it. Hs says that she is sorry and she cannot do anything. She feels very bad fr him and feels guilty as the government will not be helping him. So, he gives him access to the service where she tells him to change his identity and leave the country. He goes in and sits in front of the computer. But, he does not change his identity. He removes his identity from the server. It looks like a man named Benjamin doesn't even exit. Hannah says goodbye to Benjamin and leaves him in an isolated place. Then, we see that Benjamin is on a ship. We also see that all his friends were there. Then it is understood that Benjamin manipulated Hannah. He does not have any disease and he did all this to protect his friends. All of them leave the place to start a new life and the movie ends. That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, let me know in the comments below which movie you want me to cover in the next video. Until next time, take care and stay tuned.